EU take a dump on the SNP's plans. This is not good for the SNP or Nicola Sturgeon and not something that they wanted to say out loud. Nicola Sturgeon was forced last week of course to admit that there would have to be some form of border but she didn't go as far as to say a hard border. But the EU have gone that far and said that if, if an independent Scotland was to join the EU it would have to have a hard border between Scotland and England. The executive body of the EU confirmed that if Scotland was to vote for independence and join the EU it would be expected to sign up to strict border controls. Of course Cranky came out and said that there would be no need for a hard border with England when everybody or anybody with a brain cell knows that the EU rules dictate that any border with a non-EU state must have a hard border. That would mean new people in Scotland and us in England if we wanted to travel to each of us countries or see family would have to present a passport at the border. Sturgeon of course said there will be checkpoints at Gretna and Berwick and said that she wished the chaos that would be caused by these checkpoints wasn't there but it's challenges that we have to overcome. It's challenges that you're creating. As I've told many of you I'm travelling to Scotland soon for work and I will not have to present any form of identification. Just think what this is going to mean for people that work over the borders who cross over on a daily basis for freight passing between. We see the troubles in Northern Ireland at the moment and there is nothing to suggest that Scotland wouldn't be in a similar position to Northern Ireland if they were to leave the UK and join the EU. The EU have said that joining Schengen will mean visas. Anyone that wants to go to Scotland for 90 days or more will, will need a tourist visa or a working visa, passport stamped every time. This is not going to wash with people whose jobs rely on smooth cross-border trade and travel.